There's a study that you know they did research on negative thinking or negative uh, uh, bias versus positive, and so they had two group of people. You know, you know how the researchers go, right? Same type of people, blah 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 blah. So they have two group of people, and they showed they had a PowerPoint of a certain medical procedure, and so they told them that it had seventy uh, percent success. And so the group, the first group, was so excited about it. You know, group A was so excited about it, and they said like they had positive thought about this medical procedure, and if they need it, they will definitely, you know, uh, up for it. And whereas the group B, you know, they told them that, you know, oh, this medical procedure has actually 30% chance of failure. You know, it's a great, it's a great procedure, but it has a 30%, you know, proven chance of failure. And so they all had negative, like negative bias, right? negative bias about this procedure. And then they went back to group A and told them, you know, even though it has a 70% success rate, there's also 30% chance of failure. And they changed their mind. <laughs> Suddenly, right away, they changed their mind. And now their view is not so positive about this. You know, they have more negative bias. They became negative about this procedure. And then they went to group B and told them it's not just negative, it's not just 30% failure, but good news. 70% success rate, right? In all the data, 70%. You know what happened? They didn't change. <laughs> they did not change their mind. The study shows how easy it is for us to flip in an instant, in a second, from positive to negative. You know, that's how deep our negative bias is. <clears throat> You know, but how hard it is to come back from negative to positive. You know, this group have told, been told negative first, and then even it's 70% success rate, they didn't flip. And therefore, you know, our negative bias is very strong. You know, negative thoughts and emotions create strong imprints in our mind. You know, we have a deep uh, tendency we have a deep habit of negative bias. And not only we have that, we are always repeating it. Isn't that a problem? <laughs> Funny problem, right? Not only we have a negative bias, we are repeating it all the time. You know, when we are with friends, family, what have you, you know, even in a very positive situation, but still we find something negative to talk about. Generally speaking, like we find a way for us to really keep, get deeper and deeper into negative bias thinking, in general speaking, you know, in our lives, in our family, in our work, at our work, school, where have you, even and in the meditation, we find a way to negatively twist. And so it's like a deep rut in a road, you know? First there's a little chip, and if you keep driving over and over on it, right, repeated action can make it a deep rut, and then someday you're stuck there. Your car is stuck there. You can't get out of it. <laughs> you know, if you have a driveway like you know that's not paved, if you don't keep filling up the holes and stuff like that, it can happen to you, right? So that's what's happening in our mind. We're getting stuck in negative, deep rut, negative thought pattern here, bias. And so therefore, this negative thinking is actually a lot more popular than positive thinking, right? Like, so many people have done so many positive things. Who is reporting them? Nobody. And, and even we are not talking about positive things, right? That somebody has done, you know? Uh, and we also like to talk about something negative about someone. And, and, and so, therefore, negative, negative thinking is very deep in our habit.